I once read Jesus saying in the Gospel of Mark, if anyone wishes to be the first, he shall be the last of all. What does this mean? Before saying this, Jesus had just informed his disciples for the second time that he was about to face his passion and death. And sure enough, for the second time, the disciples' reaction to the news was very disappointing. Mark tells us that the disciples were arguing as to who is the greatest among them. It is like saying who is going to take charge after he leaves. At that time, Jesus sat down and explained to them, If you want to be first, if you want to be the greatest, you must be last. You must become a servant. It seems like the disciples were still not getting it. They were still thinking in a worldly way. Jesus wanted to teach them a new method to be successful, something that is counterculture. Simply put, if you want to be first, put yourself last. Somewhere else in the Gospels, Jesus says, those who exalt themselves will be humbled, but those who humble themselves will be exalted. In these sayings, Jesus is teaching us all a lesson in humility. Humility is such an important thing in our spiritual life. People once asked St. Augustine, who was a brilliant theologian, they asked him, in your opinion, what are the three most important virtues in the Christian life? He said to them, the first one or the first virtue is humility. The second is humility. And the third is also humility. Humility is so important to God because through it, we resemble God. God, who is the Almighty, took on a human flesh and was born in a manger, became a servant and washed the feet of his disciples. If you and I act with humility in our everyday chores, we are resembling God. And there is nothing, nothing that brings more joy to God as much as seeing his children walking in his footsteps.